examples of applications of high pressure. Uh, the first one is the knife. Eh? Okay, so you can see that here. Okay, we use this part to cut, right? And uh, at the blade here, okay, the blade here. So do you think the area here is large or small? The area at the blade here. The area is very small, eh? okay? It has a small area. When the area is small and when you use this knife to cut, eh? so do you think the pressure is high or low? High pressure or low pressure? Is the high pressure, okay? So high pressure. And that, that's why, eh? okay, a sharp knife can cut easily. Because a sharp knife has a very small area and therefore it has a very high pressure exert on an object when it's used to cut that object. Uh, so you see, we use high pressure to cut something. Eh? So we have a small surface at the blade here and therefore it has a large or high pressure. So this is applications of high pressure. Eh? Uh, okay, skate shoes. Eh? Skate shoes. So we can see that there's a blade here, right? Okay, the blade here. So the blade has small surface, eh? small surface, and therefore it has large pressure. Small surface, large pre pressure at the blade here. So this is another application of high pressure. Spike shoes, eh? so you can see, uh, this, for so this is a soccer shoes. Eh? It has a lot of spike here. So this spike has a small surface, and therefore it has large pressure. Yeah, small surface, large pressure. So these are applications of uh, high pressure. Examples of applications of low pressure. Okay, skiing. So we know that uh, if we walk on the ice, okay, it's very, very hard for us to walk because uh, we, our uh, foot will sink into the ice. So therefore, uh, if you want to move in high speed, on the ice, and then you need to use the ski shoes. Eh? Okay, the ski shoes. So uh, that is because the ski shoes. Okay, this ski eh, has large surface, and when it has large surface, it can reduce the pressure. It has low pressure. Yeah, low pressure. Therefore, okay. So this is applications of low pressure. Large surface, low pressure. Large surface, low pressure. Another one, ski board. Similar concept, okay, we can see that uh, the bottoms of this uh, ski board here, it has a large surface, large surface, and therefore it has a uh, low pressure. Yeah, so this is another application of low pressure. Uh, handbag, handbag, okay, so this is a strip of the handbag. So usually uh, it's made uh, with uh, this uh, bigger area, right, it's white. Uh, that is because uh, uh, the, the larger the surface, it has a lower pressure so that you won't feel painful. Eh? So that you won't feel painful. Okay, if the we use a, a very thin strip here, okay, then you will feel painful if the if the load inside the, this handbag eh, is very heavy. Okay, so that's why we use a white strip eh, for the handbag. Now, foundations of building. So this is the wall. Eh? This is the wall. You see, at uh, this is the foundations. Okay, and uh, this is the soil. Eh? The, the, the brown color is the soil, okay? So, uh, the foundation actually you can't see, okay? It's inside the ground. But uh, if you dig it out, then you can see that. So, usually the foundations of the, the, the building is, uh, is built or is made purposely, yeah? okay? Purposely with a larger area, okay? This is a foundation. Uh, this is to reduce the pressure because the building is very heavy. Yeah? The building is very heavy. So, uh, so we use a, this uh, white or large surface area for the foundation is to reduce the pressures that the buildings act on the soil or the ground. So we use a large surface. Uh, the pressures exert on the soil yeah? or the ground here is a uh, low pressure. Okay, the, the tractor. Okay, the tires of the tractors, okay, so you can see that we use a large surface tire. Uh, so this is to reduce the pressures that exert on the soil. Uh, so that's when this tractor moves in a muddy surface, uh, uh, the tire will not sink too deep into the, uh, the ground. So we use a, a larger surface to reduce the pressures on the ground. Uh, seat belt. You can also see that seat belt usually is very wide. That is to increase the surface and to reduce the pressure. Larger surface, lower pressure. 
or the feet, the feet of the elephant. So you can see that elephant usually the feet has a, a white area. Uh, that is to uh, reduce pressure. Okay, larger surface, lower pressure. Uh, so that are the applications, uh, applications of uh, high and low pressure.